channel and today I'm just gonna do a tone it up nutrition plan what I eat in a day for the body love challenge this is the 2017 challenge for tone it up and I just really love these videos because it gives a little insight on what other people eat in a day and also it just you know it gets me out of my rut when I watch these kinds of videos on other people's channels so I hope you enjoy and if you do please think about subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up I'd love to see you guys back again God, there's so many snowflakes out here. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. First, I start my day off with a coffee. This uh, time I'm using the Holiday Blend from Starbucks. I don't always use K-Cups. I have a single cup coffee maker too, but today I just decided to make a K-Cup just because it was easier. But the Holiday Blend is actually a really good one, so if you're looking for a good K-Cup, um, they should still have the Holiday Blend out this year. And I usually put a little bit of vanilla soy milk in my coffee and stevia. That or I use a creamer with just creamer and natural flavorings. I try to look at the ingredients list and really uh, check what's on it. Right now I'm making one with maple extract and vanilla and this is kind of my little concoction of a latte and it's so so good. Uh, maple extract is something I've been using for a little while and it's so delicious especially good for like a holiday uh, type latte and the vanilla just adds a little creaminess to it. So for breakfast I have the Tone It Up Overnight Oats. I can't remember the exact name of this but it's the um, peanut butter and banana protein oats and it has chia seeds, the protein powder, and then the almond butter. I like to put it all in in one um, little almond butter container to uh, kind of use the rest of the almond butter when I'm almost done. That's kind of my little trick. Uh, so when you have like you're like scraping the bottom of your almond butter. Just put your protein powder, your oats, your chia seeds, and everything in there and you can just leave it overnight and then you can make your overnight oats and use up the rest of your container. So I am gonna just put it in a bowl and I know it looks super gross but it's actually really really good and it turned out a little more watery than I expected so I'm gonna add a little protein powder to it this time around and it's so 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 good so if you are on the tone it up challenge for 2017 definitely try this recipe the peanut butter banana oats the chia seeds really give it a crunch so I really like this one and then of course there's my vanilla maple latte if you want me to leave a recipe in the uh, comment section or the description box section then I will do that for you but this is one of my favorites and then for a little snack, I'm having one of the Blondie muffins. This is just made with garbanzo beans and almond butter. Again, kind of sounds weird, but it's super good. And then I'm having some uh, Tivana tea. And this is a mix of oolong, black, and green tea. It's called the uh, Joyful Blend, I think. Joy or Joyful. And it's so, so good. I got this for Christmas. And... Um, then I'm having a little snack, um, chocolate covered almonds. This was just because I was having a sweet tooth and I really wanted an extra snack, so I had that before lunch. And for lunch, I'm having the um, Tone It Up salad. It's the hashtag I Love Kale salad. It's named correctly because it is so good. You can tell that the roasted Brussels sprouts and cauliflower looks super good and then I put some dried cranberries on there and also um, some walnuts just to give it a little texture this is so good today I'm making like my favorite recipes from the meal plan because this is definitely one of my favorite recipes and look how awesome that looks uh, definitely try it if you try nothing else on the tone it up meal plan try this salad it's bomb
and I used a little bit of the champagne vinaigrette dressing for it. It doesn't really need a whole lot because it has so much good stuff on it, but still kind of needed a little bit of a liquid to it as well. Look at that texture. I know I'm doing like 100 shots, but dang, look at this. So good. And for dinner, I am having a little bit of um, the leftovers from the salad, kind of the same components, the Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and then I added some chickpeas to it too, and then some walnuts and cranberries, kind of like the same thing that I had for lunch except without the spinach and without the dressing, but it was super good. Um, this time I had quinoa in it, and for lunch I had brown rice in it. So that is a little bit of a difference too, but um, yeah, it was so good, so worth it, and I did not mind having it again for dinner. But if I don't have, um, you know, a kind of the same thing for dinner, I'll have like salmon or something else like that, and it was so, so, so good. So this is a good recipe to try for the meal plan. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and if you want more videos like this please um, subscribe to my channel. I do like what I eat in a day videos because they're kind of fun and they they hold me accountable for staying on the nutrition plan too. So give this video a thumbs up and can, can, bleh, consider subscribing to my channel if you love these videos. Thanks for watching and have an awesome night.